Hey, it's Holly. Welcome to Living It Country. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a DIY wall makeover in our boy's room. A few months ago, we took off his palette wood wall, which I know you guys all loved, and we are installing a brand new wall, and I'd like to take a moment and thank Lowell for partnering with us on today's video. Let's get started. Here we have this beautiful DIY palette wood wall. We honestly love this and in fact, we actually love this palette wood wall better than what we are going to be sharing. And I feel like there is a whole story time, so if you want to hear it, then this video is definitely for you. So my husband took off the palettes as I threw them out the window into a pile. And as you can see, it's exposing this black wall, which we painted specifically for these palette wood pieces. And it's because there's little chunks missing because it's palettes. And that way, when you look through it, it wasn't the gray, it was something black. And so, I don't know, it gave it more of a custom finish. We had lots of concerns in our DIY video and we wanted to take the safe route and make sure that this space was not only functional for our son, but also, of course, safe. And before we continue and start this DIY project, I wanna take a moment and thank Lowell for sponsoring a portion of today's video. We have had Lowell mattresses, as you can see, for over three years now. And this is a little flashback of when we first did our son's room. And he is teeny tiny, so is my sweet little girl and I'm so thankful to be partnering with them in today's video so that each of us now have one. Now, if you guys have never tried the Lowell mattress, they're absolutely amazing with three different styles to choose from. They also have a 365 night stress-free trial and free shipping. There's easy returns as well as a lifetime warranty. We actually own two of the three mattresses that Lowell offers, one of them being the original Lowell mattress and then the premium, and they are both absolutely phenomenal mattresses. One thing that I don't like is getting overheated at night, and so I really love the fact that Lowell has a cooling technology so that I can get a great night's sleep, especially since I wake up very, very early each morning. The setup process of this mattress took under three minutes. It was really easy to move into the house all by myself and I even had the help of my kids both times. I thought it'd be fun to just share this throwback. That way I'm not giving you guys a sneak peek of what our current accent wall is looking like. So I'll actually be sharing a little bit more about Lull at the end of today's video. Now, if you guys want to get $700 off your Lull mattress, you guys can click my link below and save off of your next purchase. Now we are adding the Lull mattress protector. This one I've had for three years now, and I just wanted to share that it is a product that you want to get. In fact, I need to remind myself to order another one. This is going to make the life of your mattress even longer, and especially if somebody ever has an accident or spills a glass of water, it's gonna protect your mattress and make it last even longer. As you can see, we have the same bedding on this bed as years ago, and it is because my little guy is obsessed. We changed it to a monster truck one probably about a year ago, and that thing is already off and on to his black and white checkered bedding because I think he loves the fact that it keeps him in the bed with the zippers. So just a helpful hint for anybody that has little kids. Um, my little guy's had it since he was, I think, two years old and he's five years old now. Now we're getting started with the wall makeover, you guys. I am so excited. So what we ended up doing was at the same time of doing this wall, we actually started the process of doing our ceiling with shiplap. And so 
I love this wood because one side of it has that ship lap look and then the other side has that tongue and groove look. I think that this wall would have looked probably a lot better if we would have left it just the way it is. I think it has a bright look and could have had more of a masculine look with the photos and the decorations that we added to the room. And so in fact, I don't even know if we're going to keep this wall up because what we can do is we can remove this wall so easy and flip it to the other side, just like we do on our ceiling and continue other ceiling spots with this wood and nothing will go to waste. And then we can start from scratch with this wall. Nothing but, you know, probably 20, 30 minutes of extra time it would add, but we wouldn't be wasting any materials. Let me know what you guys think. Now I know I share this in almost every DIY project video, but when you're doing a DIY with this type of wood, it can get so expensive. So make sure you're checking those damaged wood aisles because sometimes they will put the silliest of wood in those spaces. It's absolutely ridiculous where I'm not complaining though. I just think it's silly, but they will take like a piece that has a damaged spot on the top that you can easily cut off and they'll put it in the damaged wood section for, you know, 70, 90% off. And then you can create a collection to where you can do a spot in your home of a accent wall over time if you just start saving it over time. Now that we have this wall completely done, we taped up the wall to make sure the paint stays beautiful and fresh looking, which it really has over the past couple years. And we're really happy about that and we are staining it. Now we did a combination of stains and it was, it, it seemed like it was the same recipe for each DIYer on Pinterest, which I found interesting. It was a combo of three different stains and that will be found in the description box down below. Now I am convinced that it might be the lighting of people's homes, whether they have skylights, whether they have a ton of natural light, or even the area their home was faced or built, even the states. There's so many different criterias, right? I am not a fan of how it looks on this particular room on this wall. Um, I would say it has lightened up over time, which I found to be very, very interesting. I think I very much miss the pellet wood wall, that rustic look. And I even thought about doing a brick wall, which I've seen multiple DIYers do. We had, you know, those panels of brick. We had that originally in our office, which we removed. And that was years ago when we first moved in. And the DIY brick is very permanent. And so I think we're going to pass on that route. But maybe we'll find a place where we can buy pallet wood that is approved and safe and everything like that and one day do that again because in the three years that that was up we never got sick of it and my little boy loved it and the cool thing about pallet wood walls which we have a whitewashed one in our our front room is you can put so many different holes in it and you don't have to cover it up. It just looks like it's part of that. So we were able to do some pretty cool things on his wall and never have to cover up those holes, which I found to be so great since I'm anti holes in the wall. Now my husband is just fixing up that base trim. He had to pop that out a little bit and I'm taking off the painter's tape from the wall. What are you guys thinking of this wall so far? I would love to know in the comment section down below. Now we're adding that last piece of base trim back on and I decided to clean up the floors with my vacuum real quick. We've had this vacuum for over two years. It was actually an Amazon to find and it's one of my favorite vacuums I have owned. In fact, almost every handheld vacuum that I've owned breaks and it's such a bummer. This has been the one that has lasted the test of time. Now, I thought I would give you guys a glimpse of what it looks like 
current day. Do you guys feel like it's lightened up? I personally feel like it has. Now, we are completely changing the theme of this room to Spider-Man. And I found these really cute Spider-Man. They're like 3D pieces of art with my mom and daughter. And so we hurried up and we went home and picked up the boys to see if it was something that my son Brody would like and he loved it. I love shopping at Ross. That was a job that I had for many, many years. I believe it was like seven, seven-ish years and um, such a fun place to work at. Now my son is really big into puzzles. So my husband had the idea of framing them and then turning it into a piece of art. And I was totally for that because I feel like it's something that I don't know is multifunctional and that's genius to me. The funny thing about him is he'll do a puzzle and he'll do it like 10 more times. Um, he just loves doing puzzles. So I'm sure one day we'll end up taking these out of the frames just so he can do the puzzles again. But we decided to not glue them together. I know that there's people that do that. We just bought these frames from Walmart and just put it in there. Now I decided I was going to do one of the puzzles on one side, the other puzzle on the other side, and then above it the 3D art. So it wasn't just like all these shapes on each side. I very much like things symmetrical and you guys probably noticed that from our house. It has to be like even on both sides and complement each other. And so that's what I decided to go with. Now you guys might be able to see his cute little shelf over there full of his Spider-Man stuff. And he is now a big collector. He's probably been for about a year now. And I did not want to transition his room until I knew he was very serious. So for a long time he just had an accent kind of blanket on the end of his bed and then a Spider-Man pillow. It was actually one that I got from Walmart. It was in the Clarence aisle for three bucks for both of those. And um, so now we've decided to add some art and commit a little bit more. Not too bad in pricing. The majority of the things were really affordable. I definitely don't think we're gonna do a bedding or anything like that. Just little accents here and there. And I think everything will tie together just fine. Now I was trying to decide which Spider-Man canvas to use. This one we actually got at Hobby Lobby for the spring clearance sale of 90% off. And then, so it ended up being I think like $14 for this huge one. Or if I wanted to put up this other one, this was from Ross for $19.99. And it has, I feel like it's a little bit more mature. So I don't necessarily know that I love it. And so I think I'm going to return this. Hopefully I still have the receipt and I decided to go with the one from Hobby Lobby. Now I am taking you guys outside and we are going to adjust my magnolia wreath right there. We use command hooks that are stickable and they just don't stick. If you have any hacks, let me know in the comments below because I feel like I've used every single brand and they just do not work for me. Now we're bringing in our current setup of our lull order and the dog thought somebody was here and so he ran out anytime he hears that ring camera he is out of the house ready to go see who it is and then we can't get him back in so here we go with the unboxing of the twin size lull mattress this is the hyatt bread one and i'm really excited as you guys can see the boxes of these have changed since our first unboxing over three years ago. Now I will say that now that I have opened it up and seen it, a huge difference just from first glance is the fact that the mattress is thicker. I feel like it's very luxurious and I'm a little bit jealous that my five-year-old gets this beautiful like premium mattress. So I am very grateful and I am so, so happy for him. Now, as you can see, this is a one person job. I did have some little helpers that you guys will see here in a little bit. They were ready to jump all over this. One of our favorite things to do 
in our daughter's room is to watch our little guy jump from the bed to the bed and pretend to be Spider-Man. And then we have this really darling little um, ottoman poof that goes on the floor. It's a leather ottoman. And that's like his spot to where he turns into Spider-Man. Now, if you guys are not in need of a mattress and want bedroom accessories like bedding, pillows, anything like that, make sure you guys check out LOL and use that link in the description to save $700 off of your order. Now, we are going to hang up this beautiful canvas from Hobby Lobby. I love this and I was so excited to show my little guy this wall makeover. We've actually had the majority of these bigger pieces just to the side of his little um, shelf to the side because that's the way he wanted it. And so once he saw it, he loved it. And I think it was just what he was looking for. Now I am getting his bed put together so he can see it styled. And unfortunately I did not adjust the camera until after the bed was made. So I apologize for that. But I love the black and white checkered. I love the fact that it still kind of goes with the look. You guys can see some stains on his bedding. And he just loves it, you guys. And if he loves it, I don't want to change it. And, you know, sometimes if you buy it brand new, it also doesn't feel the same. It's, it's loved and <laughs> it is comfortable to him. I'm just adding his little Walmart blanket this was the one that was from the clearance aisle at the end of his bed make it feel a little bit more like spider-man we wanted to keep this little makeover as affordable as possible what i love about this project is just seeing the accent wall i wasn't a fan but then when you put those pieces of simple decor pieces on the wall it really transforms the space and makes it feel like its own i hope you all enjoyed today's video and i hope you all have a beautiful day bye